Hey, what is up? My name is Ajona. Welcome to episode 59 of Game Programming. So, today it's going to be one of those episodes that really probably isn't that interesting, but um, it just needs to be done. And I actually asked you guys last episode if you wanted to see all the graphical aspects of, um, of the development of this game, and you guys said, yeah, like literally everyone. I don't think there was a single no in there, so... Um, I guess I am going to have to show you guys every aspect of um, this game's development. So, you know, we've got the same thing that we had last time, but what, what we're basically going to do today, all we're going to, do, we're going to do today is actually just finish the tiles. So, um, we had all these tiles here and we actually made this new tile called the Spawn Grass Tile, right? And if we go back into Tile here, we can instantiate it, we can basically define it by typing Public Static Tile and there was the Spawn, what was it called? What? Get out, spot tile. I don't think that even exists. Spawn grass tile. So we'll call it um, spawn grass tile or something. I don't know. Um, and we'll set it equal to new spawn grass tile. And the sprite that we'll use is a sprite dot. And I think I used a prefix spawn. Yes, I did. Spawn grass. And that's it. All right. Simple as that. And we basically need to do the whole, the same thing for all the other tiles that we had. So if we actually go to the sprite class, um, you can see that we also had a hedge, water, wall one, wall two, and floor. All right. So if I just tab it over, so there's so there's two windows. I'll try and make the camera show both, but um, I don't think I will, just because it it just feels too zoomed out if I do it that way. But um, I'm literally just going to copy and paste this stuff here. So we've got grass, now we need hedge, um, and I guess we don't need tile to be honest, just because, um, well, it's obviously a tile, so <laughs> no point in that, eh? Um, wall 1, wall 2, and floor as well, so let me first of all copy this, and I'll grab the floor. Alright, that's it, that's all I'm going to do with Sprite. Um, and over here, all I'm going to do is hit up spawn, um, that, yeah, that's going to be grass, obviously, it's going to be hedge, and it's going to be water, it's going to be wall one, it's going to be wall two, and that's going to be floor. <coughs> <coughs> and, um, now, now what we need to do is actually change the spawn grass talent to the appropriate one, so for hedge, we could have a spawn hedge tile, for water we can have a spawn water, water tile, for wall we can have a spawn, for wall one, sorry, we can have a spawn wall file. The, the thing is, guys, this is the other thing, um, so some things are the same, right? So in other words, these like, these walls that we've got going on here, these stone walls, like, they, technically, you know, they're the same, right? They look different, the sprites are different, but they're the same, as in, they have the same properties, okay? In fact, a lot of these tiles have the same properties, but, um, you know, we still want to divide them just because, you know, wood might react differently to how a hedge does. A hedge might be more upright and could be destroyed. You know, a hedge could be breakable, whereas, you know, a grass tile wouldn't be. And so, I like to just mix it up. I like to, um, I like to keep everything organized just in case, because I really like my materials to be you know, defined separately. But if it's something like a wall, and it's literally just two wall textures, and they're, they're only different for aesthetical purposes, then we can just go ahead and say spawn wall tile for both of them, and simply use different sprites, alright? And obviously different um, tile names. But otherwise it's the same, right? Okay, so spawn, spawn underscore floor will be um, our spawn floor tile. Alright, awesome. So now we have to go ahead and create each of these classes. So, we'll hit this little thing, and we'll go to create class, and it'll automatically fill out pretty much everything for us. We want to keep it in tile, except we want to put it under spawn level, which is the folder that we created. So hit finish, and there's an error that occurred. Assertion failed. Don't worry too much about that. Um, that is not really important. So, this is all good. Um, let's go back to tile. Um, and we'll actually have to just do the same for all the other ones. So, again, we'll put it into spawn level. Spawn underscore level. Uh, and then we'll, you know, add the constructor, as we do. <coughs> um, let's get rid of this. 
go back to tile. So the spawn wall tile. Again, that's just one tile for both of those things. And we'll put it on the spawn level. Add that constructor in. And that's pretty much it. We've got one more to go. That's the floor tile. So we'll create a class for that. Level underscore um, spawn. Sorry, it's spawn underscore level. Spawn underscore level. And we will in we'll add the constructor from our super class. And that's it. Okay, awesome. So let's save that and hopefully we won't get any errors. Awesome, no errors. Um, okay, so what we need to do now, the other thing we need to actually do is if we just go to a normal grass tile, you see that it's got a random method. So let's grab that random method and we'll just quickly copy and paste it into every one of these. So just like that, make sure you save after it as well. Um, that's pretty much it. I think. Uh, did we do all of them? Yep, we did. Awesome. So, I'm just going to right click, close all, just because I like to be organized and it feels really cluttered right now. I'll uh, open tile back up. Okay. So now that we've got all these different things, we can also go through, I guess, another time and be like, alright, hedge. Do we want hedges to be, you know, possible? You know, do we want them to be solid? Um, so public, boolean, solid. Um, we can just return false if we don't want it to be solid, right? Because remember, that overrides the original solid thing. So, sorry, return true for if it is solid. So, um, you know, hedges, we don't we don't want to pass through hedges. Maybe they'll be breakable. You know, walls won't be, but hedges, you can, like, I don't know, whip out your sword and cut them down or something. Um, so, I'll, I'll, I'll make that, you know, it'll be, it'll be solid, but that's, like, that's, for example, why I, um, you know, we might even put, like, in the future, like, a public boolean called breakable, and this one would, you know, return true, alright? So I'll just, I'll leave this in here because it doesn't do any harm, but, um, you know, a system like that might be in place in the future for those kind of tiles. So that's, like, another reason, I guess, why I actually split up um, all these tiles into different subclasses. Instead of just having, like, a tile and being like, alright, well, this, this is going to be breakable tile and there's going to be unbreakable tile and then I'll just have different names for them, but they'll still refer to the same class. No, I don't, I don't like to do that. That's just not how I roll. Um, so again, what else is in breakable? Wall tile. Let's copy and paste solid for wall tile, because a wall is solid, indeed. Um, and, well, yeah, that's about it. So that is how we organize each one of those tiles. Next time, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at actually creating levels based on this level. So in other words, we will create a spawn level next time and we'll see all these tiles in actions. In actions? In action. <laughs> actions. Multiple there will be multiple actions for the level, I'm sure. But um but yeah, that's what we're that's what we're gonna do next time. We're gonna take a look at actually creating the spawn level and seeing it in action. So we'll see you guys next time. If you like the video please hit that like button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later guys.